Hey there guys, we've got the Silver Crown battle on the JP server for Rain and Fina. We're going to be going to level 4 and we're fighting Bamet Ashura, a quad race enemy. It's a human, dragon, demon, undead, all at the same time. Um, the missions are 5 turns or less, no KOs and no continues. Now this is tricky because it is locked to ice units only and that's a really narrow roster. But the new free Reagan you get um, from the shard stage is going to carry the fight. So let's get in here and do it, and I'll explain what's going on. There's a few tricky things with this fight. For one thing, um, he's got a break gauge. So we're going to use Awakened Dragon Axstar to triple cast a dual wielded katana with his break gauge skill to get that gauge broken on turn one. Because our DPS unit is using Bayomet with the break gauge bonus passive. We're going to use General Celeste to shift the LB for the ice support stuff. We're going to use Yoshikiri. Now turn one, the boss does crazy AoE physical damage. So we're going to use Yoshikiri to five stack Mirage the party. Um, and then just use uh, Ice Imbue in peril. Or Ice Imbue. And then um, uh, an LB fill. Now you need to hit the boss with magical damage, not, no, magical attack every single turn or he goes physical immune and that would ruin our strategy. So in order to deal ice damage every turn, we're going to have Yish put up in peril and then we're going to just chain magical ice with bolting strike and then Reagan on turn one can just triple bolting strike as well. So a little bit of bonus damage on turn one, but the main damage is going to come um, starting in the next turn. Okay, so here's the AoE physical damage, and because we dealt magical attack, the boss will not go immune to physical damage. Okay, so now we're going to go to the base form with General Celeste, and we're going to cover magic. We're going to cover magic, mitigate, and then deal magic damage. We're going to use Yoshikiri to put up some killers for the party. Um, let's see, which one is which? Uh, human killer. Here we go, human killer. And then we'll just fill LB gauge twice. Make sure I read that correctly. Yep. Okay, now we're going to do LB of Reagan, and we're going to triple Absolute Mirror of Equity with um, Axstar. But before we do that, let's go ahead and break Imperil, and then just deal some ice damage with, yes, some magic damage. It's got to be magic damage. Otherwise, you see the boss is magic immune? That's because we're hitting him with the magic. Now let's go ahead and chain these guys up and deal a little bit of damage here. Okay. Uh, now here's some AoE magic attacks. Now we're covering those with General Celeste, so not that big a deal. Now because we got Reagan's EX3 from the shard stage, we can now use his LB immediately. Um, or his SLB on turn 3, I should say. So let's go ahead and deal some more damage right here. So here we go. Okay, not bad. Now we're going to have General Celeste go ahead and shift here. We're going to do Dragon buff and then some Ice stuff. Uh, we're going to have Yoshikiri triple his LB fill. And we're going to go ahead and deal a Magic Attack with Yish, as well as just whatever, to keep the boss from going physical immune. Okay. And uh, some attacks on Celeste. She's still covering. A little bit painful here because she's in the shift form at this point, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and use Celeste's LB yet again. And then we can go ahead and finish off the boss. Just LB uh, these two again. And there it is. There's an all mission clear. We did it in four turns. We did it with... Uh, you know, ice units, etc. Now, if you aren't able to kill on turn four, you're going to get mega flared to the face. So what you want to do is go to... Oh my god. Did the game... What? Hold on. Alright guys, apparently there was emergency maintenance, but uh, it's finally over. So we're going to get back apparently to the last turn where we ended the fight. Um, okay, well, whatever. Uh, emergency maintenance, so that's always fun. So let's go ahead and just LB Celeste again and do this. 
and okay, we finished the fight yet again. Uh, I think what I was saying at the end of or before emergency maintenance was if you don't kill on turn four, the boss is going to mega flare. If that happens, just guard Celeste and the base form and use Yoshi Kiri's 90% mitigation on Celeste and she'll survive that. Um, so there's a damage breakdown. Obviously, the Reagan does all the damage. And let me go ahead and show you the gear we used to get all missions. Okay. So, oh, we'll just jump over here instead. Okay, so the uh, team was uh, General Celeste in the base form. Is just using High Spirit. Um, this is her resistances. I didn't gear for resist specifically, and I didn't even realize she had a leader skill. Oh, it's only defense and spirit. Well, I could have made her bulkier. I didn't realize that. Anyway, there is her uh, gear in the base form, and then shift form is geared the identical for the most part. Uh, pretty similar, and I gave her some Phoenix TMRs uh, just in case. Uh, Yoshikiri is, I'm pretty sure, just naked in both forms. Yep, he just does the five stack Mirage on turn one, a human killer buff, and he fills a little bit of LB gauge and a little bit of imbue on turn one. Uh, Yish is naked. She does the 88 breaks, the 130 in peril, and she hits with ice damage every turn. Uh, Axstar is dual wielding katanas with um, an auto break accessory. So, dual wield katanas to break the gauge, other than that. A triple absolute mirror up equity chainer and then the last uh, the new reagan is um double hand with killers versus maxed out killers versus human demon dragon and undead we've also got maxed lb damage uh 10 000 attack power with no leader skill uh, he gets to like 15 000 with the leader skill but um no one on the party has a leader skill and uh, yeah, there was our clear, you know, got interrupted by emergency maintenance, but we got it done. Um, okay, so there it is. I will see you guys next time.